how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Mm-hmm. Like that's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. Humophiles? I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now let me tell you about a little plan I have. Maybe a dendrophile. Well, let's warm up the hamster. Where did the hamster go? Oh, there was the hamster. Microwave the hamster. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh oh. Oh shit. There we go. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. Okay, okay, I promise. Cold wet hamster. Let's put the sweat on him. This ought to warm him up. Now he's warm. Now let's see. We need a t uh, name tag. Now where did I get the name tag? Not on this floor. No. Wait, 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 wait. Is it the guy with the cigars? No. He doesn't have an M tag. Is this is it a suicidal guy then? There was no name tag in here, was it? Nope. And nothing here. Nope. And nothing in Green's room. Nope. Was it in here? Get out of, out of here. Well, let's give him back the book. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented sadistic by this guy. master. Well... We all feel that way sometimes. So... We need to find... A name tag. Are the, are the FBI still up here? Say, what's the filing date for a BFD-206? Uh, apparently. The insufficient credit applications form. Was no was it something on cousin Ted? Let's see if it was something on cousin Ted. It was nothing outside, right?
nothing on Cousin Ted. I think. Those IRS guys will never know the difference. So nothing here. Let's switch to Laverne. Uh, I guess we have to go up to the disco room. Or maybe I can get a tag from this guy. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? Let's flirt with him. I'm uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. Oh. <sighs> Don't you recognize me? Uh, no, I, uh... Hey, aren't you the waitress from Club Tentacle? Uh, yes I, I am. I love that place. I'd be there right now if I weren't flat broke. I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. So, we need to get a name tag. Was it this room? No. The name tag, the name tag, where did I get the name tag? Nothing here. Flamingo, can I push it? Take that, you vulgar lawn ornament. Okay. Um, let's check with Mr. Bogey here. And I need to get the name tag. Where the hell did I get the name tag? Is it on the second floor? Or down here? At red? It's covered with plans and junk. Okay, so we got the name tag. Hey, what is it? Oh, I think I'll be moseying along now. Well, don't mosey over anything breakable on your way out. Hold on, D didn't the lady actually drop one? And I kicked her down the stairs. Maybe? Nerd. Of course. Where the hell did I get the name tag? What's up, Carol? Not here. Um, Laverne needs a fork at least. Just get home from work. Nice. I bet you get. I bet you're tired. Then. Is the sound okay? Where am I packing out? Where the hell did I get the name tag? It's fine. All right. Awesome sauce. 
I need a name tag. Does he give name tags? Are we gonna play it? Tired? No. Almost time to get drunk. Have you bought some cider again? Be seeing you. Nice. I can regale you with tales of my adventures. So you're gonna play and drink them. Oh, I assume you will. Always. That's nice. I might join you later. Uh, let's use the extension cord. To the window. There we go. Now we just need a freaking tag. Do it, get drunk with me. Um, okay. Oh, maybe this guy gives it. Now when I think about it. Uh, talk with him. Hello, I'm a tentacle. Yeah, well, I got some mojitos. Or oh, I can still do a few mojitos at least. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best So how, uh, how has the Thank day been? You, has it been good? Humans, you have been very useful. Oh, well, I got I got you. wine, me, and I got player. beers as well. Yowza. That was one good looking tentacle. <laughs> I'm a good looking tentacle, that's for sure. Do you see how sexy I am? It looks like me, right? So, let's tag the mummy. Let's get this show on the road. Yes, let's do it. Pretty boring oh, day, to be honest. Oh, really? So let's head up to the mummy and start to disguise him. Do I have everything I need, by the way? Lol, you are a tentacle? Yeah, I'm totally untying it. I rock like a tentacle. We got that, that. Okay, we, we got the parts for the mummy. Now, let's make him some sexy sexy. I mean, this looks so fucking great. Kind of reminds me of you. And let's put some teeth on him. He's my shit. Thanks, but no thanks. This is more like you. I mean, look at those teeth. It's like a copy. Oh, I needed a fork to fix the hair. <coughs> Yummy! Uh, let's see, we need a fake buff. Oh, Harold, that's gross! What are you babbling about? You really should have told me you weren't feeling well. Hey, yep. Oh, ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? Well, sc school is like more the, the guy between Harold and um, well. the guy with the I was space helmet. Fine until I saw that. It kind of looks kind of similar. Your regurgitation? No, I'm a nice human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? 
That's yeah, he did. Year of speed. Or she did. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. Bye. <laughs> What a mess. I did I nothing. Cleaning up after humans. So, let's win this contest. I mean, that's beauty. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. So, let's talk with the... Uh, Judges? Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. There we go. Best hair, for sure. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. That's one point to me. Now let's win the others. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. It kind of looks like you when you smile. I like the quiet one with the big right, teeth. Cool. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Like yellow big teeth. Agreed. So that's two. This game is freaking weird. Hey, when are you guys going to It's awesome. <laughs> oh, all right. It's a very old game, though. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy, are my suction cups tired. <laughs> A classic. Huh. 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 It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agree. Well, that makes him best of show. Yeah, I won. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss yeah, he his is. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Just look at you. You look so lovely. I mean, wow. That beauty. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Aww. Would you bang? <laughs> like, totally. Fuck yeah, I would totally bang that. Now let's get rid of the guard. Let's go to the human kennel. And this will be you when you're old. You kind of got the same hair, the same look, the same nose. Like all crooked. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? Thanks. Fuck you. I can't wait to tell my wife. You wish. All right. I need to switch. Just switch. 
You're free. Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big right. deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods of she likes fisting. Animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. So they hate skunks? Well, I got a cat. Who looks like a skunk. Hey, look, a skunk. Who doesn't? Lol, just kidding. Thanks. Come back here, you mangy humans. You can't do this. This is an escape proof facility! Yeah, escape proof faci Who said facility. You can't learn anything right. from cartoons, eh, kitty? So now we got rid of those. We have to go to the clock. Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir! I can take it! I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass! You just left the cat? Sarcastic, yeah. Son, this is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Oh, heck! You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right, come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! I would never. Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be but the cat sky. wanted it. It wanted to stay. I mean, I can do it like this. Just for you, I will do it like this. Now I am the jailer, and you, you kitty, are my prisoner. <laughs> See? Problem solved. Just open a clock. Great. Carol, this message is for you. You suck. Now we need to power this up. I suck, now you suck. I said it first. So let's use the hamster. <laughs> Screw you. I know you enjoyed that part. Now let's suck it up. And we got ourselves a hamster. Let's open the hatch. Pick up the dust ball. And magic! A hamster. So let's use it again. Well? You know what to do. Oh, there we go. Look at that sucker go. He just keeps running and running and running. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch. Great. Holdy. 
I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so the glad you The best family two made ever. Back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the Sledgeomatic! What in the world? Uh -huh. Say what? Well, he's a hard worker at least. Hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive. And I think... And you think? What? You can't turn off oh no, the it's a purple tentacle. First. Uh oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same store. Apparently Didn't I could. You see the fly? N no. Here I come. Some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here We're a monster, dude. Life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's purple tentacle. It's green tentacle. What was that green? Purple tentacle behind you. What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're oh, going oh. to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I became I a monster. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. That's a lot of hentai. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojon. Together, we will conquer the world. You tend there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge -Omatic. Became. Now what? What did I say? To touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh oh. Excuse me. Um, us. You said we come? <laughs> oh. Alright, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. Doesn't you... Is, what the, is that the wrong now? word? Whoa. It wears off. Oh well. Fuck you. Aha. Run for it. Yeah, never mind. You you're too you're too drunk. Damn. The battery ha. must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Yeah, you wish you could. Shh. Maybe he won't find us. You already did. Oh, he can't see me. You who? Where are you, human? Hiding. Oh, well, let's go out. He will never find me. 
If only the hardware store carried more. Aha! Oh shit! Uh oh! Take that! Oh no! And this! Drat! Haha! -ha. In his face! Now oh, let's go into this door! Perhaps if I readjust the static phrase. Go oh, inside then! Jesus Christ! And to the mouse hole. And it's way too high. Uh, let's let's get big. There we go. Now open the door. Hey, where'd he go? Yes, you did. You like totally dead. And let's go down here. And bowling time. This is so awesome. And strike. Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Oh, oh no! Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving the person so making this game was so high or something? To get to know yeah, it was Lucas Arts. You humans are so small-minded. Ha <laughs> ha That's mean. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. It's not. Uh, let's see here. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Center of the forehead? Would you like a demonstration? I, yes, I would. I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice. Oh, could could have worked. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Right. Uh... Then it's Dr. Like Fred's fault. Dr. Fred's fault, really? Yeah. Hmm. I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Yes, it would. Center of the forehead. Aha, he fought for it. Surely we can talk this out. Who fell for it? Hmm. Hmm. Talk. Surely. Ha! In his face. Wait. You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back. And the next time, the world and all its pimping inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> All mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. All okay. kind. Well, shit. I broke something. What did you broke or break? Oh, the tentacles are gone. And the water is lovely once again. Our work here is done. 
Yay! Go home. Except I'm a monster. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. <laughs> Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we yeah, can't well. buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Oh. Help us, Dr. Edison. That's not you good. You are our only hope. Oh, all right. Have you seen what hmm. monster I've become? It's like, I don't know, it's like, that way. Idiots! It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. <laughs> yeah. Smart asses. I was no monster, after all. There was a TD, I think. She looks like a fucking psycho. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. Well, 